Hey there game makers and welcome to the fourth optional um, tutorial on how to make a platformer. This is for committed jumps. This is just once again a little thing if you want to have it. So for example, I am not a fan of that, but old school games did that. And if you want to emulate that, well, here you go. So what is a commit jump? Let's say you are jumping and then you can press left and right and you still have control during flight, which is great. But let's say you say like, mm, this is not realistic and I want to do it this the old school way where you once you commit it then you kind of a sack of potatoes flying around and you have no control over that and this is what we're going to emulate so let's say you just jump and then uh well you have no control and it just fly you regain control once you are on ground so let's actually do this because this is kind of easy to pull off for that we just need a variable and I call it block inputs. So we just put it into our create event. This is once again optional. This will not be continued in other ones, but if you want to have this, well, here you go. And then for example, when are we blocking our input? Well, if we are on the ground, no, so idle. Or if we are walking on the ground, no, but we are blocking our input when we are flying. For now, nothing's happening because we haven't implemented it but we can actually do that. So we just say like, hey, if our blocking, input blocking is actually not happening, well, then we can, you know, change the uh, move X value. But of course, if we are in flight, then, then block input is true. Then um, the last move X value is getting stored and this is, will be carried over and over and over and all the time until you land and then well you can reset it and then once for example we try it and check it out how it does look like so for example i'm just pressing left and right and yep this is a commit jump but of course you can kind of enlarge it with a uh well with a double jump but of course this is the flying sack of potatoes <laughs> mode if you want to have this why not i'm not sure why you want to have this because i think this is highly restricting your movement but, but for example, this is then maybe a risk reward of the good old times where that was more or less kind of a standard. So this is the way that goes. And of course, a lot of times you don't have done the, the role animation. You have kind of a different animation. So for example, something like this, which is uh, basically sometimes even the, the walk animation of the player or something like this. So in the Castlevania games, he's kind of mini crouching or whatever. And we can actually input that to our player and we got our sack of potatoes flying around like this. Yay! <laughs> but if you like this, uh, here you go. That's the way it goes. It does work with this system. Um, but you just lose control. That's pretty much the whole uh, thing of that part. Alrighty, that was it then from my side. Hopefully that answers your question. And see you the next one. Have a good one. One up indie.